Division with divisors up to 10. The library is getting rid of six old books. Three people come and take all the books, dividing them equally. How many books does each person get? Well, let's start here by looking at how many people there were. There were three people. So I'm going to draw a box for each person. Person one, person two, person three. And they're going to split up six books. So one book for you, one book for you, one book for you. That's three, four, five, six. So how many did each person get? Well, that would be two books. Emma hands out 15 slices of deli meat among three customers evenly. How many slices of deli meat does each customer get? So let's start with how many customers there are. Well, there's three customers. So one, two, three. And there's 15 slices of meat. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now each box should have the exact same amount in it. So there's one, two, three, four, five in this one, one, two, three, four, five in this one, and one, two, three, four, five in this one. If they were not even, then we would have a little bit of a problem. We might have to go back and try it again. So we know that they're all even here. So then this one is five. A sloth has 40 baby sloths over two years. How many babies per year does a sloth have? Well, we have two years and the sloth had 40 babies. Holy cow, that's a lot of babies. So instead of trying to count one, two, three, four, and going all the way up to 40, I'm gonna count by tens. So this sloth had 10 babies here and then 10 babies here. So that's 10 and 20. Well, then this sloth had 10 more babies. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30, plus 10 more is 40. So now there's two sets of 10, which would make this one 20, which would also make this one 20. So we have equal groups here. So the sloth had 20 babies in a year. That's a lot of sloth babies. Matthew cuts 26 slices of watermelon and divides them evenly among two platters. How many watermelon slices are in each platter? Well, let's start here by drawing two platters. Now we could very easily just count up to 26, one, two, and go over. But I'm looking at the number 26, and I know that the number 26 is split up into 20 plus six. So 20 can be split into 10 plus 10. So I'm gonna put 10 here and 10 here. So now I just need to split up the six. So 10 plus 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and really that should have been 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we have um, 10 plus 1, 2, 3, that would give me 13 for this one, and 10 plus 1, 2, 3, 13 for this one. So 13 slices of watermelon per platter. Logan purchases a box of 12 donuts. He divides those donuts among five, two friends evenly. How many donuts does each friend get? So we have two friends, one, two, and let's split up those 12 donuts. Count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six in this box. One, two, three, four, five, six in this box. Great job. Matilda bakes a cake, which she slices up to 75 pieces. If Matilda divides them among three plates to give three neighbors, how many pieces of cake does each neighbor get? Well, we're gonna have three people here. One, two, and three. We're looking at 75 pieces in three places. Well, this is a lot of pieces of cake, and in my mind I'm trying to figure out an easier way to do this. So I know that 75, that I know the number 60 out of 75. So if I do 75 minus 60, I still have 15 left. But 60 to me was easy because I can do 20 plus 20 plus 20, which equals 60. So then I can put 20 here 
20 here, and 20 here. So now I still have 15 left. So then I can count. I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 20 plus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 20 plus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 20 plus 5. So that means seven or 25 for each box. So 75 divided by 3 is 25. It's just like quarters. You can think about 75 cents is just like three quarters. Mason owns 36 marbles. He divides those marbles and distributes them evenly among three friends. How many does each friend have? So we have three friends. We have the number 36. Well, I know 36, I can see the number 30 and 36. So 30 can be split into threes by saying 10 plus 10 plus 10. And that would leave me with six left over to split up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So 10 plus one, two. So that would be two plus, this would be turned into a two plus, this could turn into a two. So 12 in each box. Caitlin owns 24 marbles. She divides those marbles and distributes them evenly among three friends. How many marbles does she have? One, two, three friends, 24 marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one has eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight in each box. So each friend got eight marbles. Gabriel cuts 33 slices of pizza and divides them evenly among his three friends. How many slices does each friend get? Three friends. I'm looking at the number 33. I see 33, I see 30. Well, I know that 30 and three would be 10, so I can put 10 in each friend. And then that leaves me with three slices left over, which would leave each friend with just one extra. So plus one, plus one, plus one. So that would be 11 for each friend. Emma cuts 14 slices of watermelon and divided them evenly among two platters. How many watermelon slices are on each platter? We've got one friend, one platter I mean, two platters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this box, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this box. So each platter would get seven pieces of watermelon. Nice job.